People who have friends with benefits. How did you go from friends to friends who have Shreks? Hi Reddit guys. Subscribe now, or I will stop our friendship. We were watching a movie together and there was some reference to titifracking. He said he'd never tried that before, because all the girls he'd dated before have had smaller boobs. My boobs are very conductive to such activities. I jokingly asked if he wanted to try with me. He jokingly said yes. So we tried. Started as friends. Ended up becoming roommates. Both of us had been out of relationships for a while so, Shrekshul tension got high with us living together. Slept together a few times and then she got a boyfriend so we ended things. We're still great friends. Didn't ruin anything between us. It was just casual Shreks between consenting adults. Did you guys stay roommates? Oh my god they were roommates. Thank you for this comment. I also missed that the first read through. Freaking roommates is like playing with fire. I think the danger is what makes it extra hot. We were at her place talking about Halloween. A very paraphrased version of the conversation. Huh? It's just an excuse for people to dress lutty and have Shreks me. Shreks is good. And then we had Shreks. Been there twice. Both times, we got drunk one night and it just happened. We decided to keep having Shreks, but not get serious. Grew boobs. Suddenly got a lot of good friends who wanted to hold me tight. Instructions unclear. Grew boobs. It's water weight. And now I just sit around and play with them and my peanuts. Close enough. Yeah. Sure. Water weight. It's where the tears go when you hold them in. I had been friends with D4 years. I was dating her best friend K during that time. After K and I broke up, I stayed friends with D. We hung out a lot and one night she said we should still be just friends. But friends who have Shreks sometimes. It was great and lasted 4 years off and on. We are still friends. But she's married now. Clicking on this thread was the wrong choice for my self esteem lol. TFW people talk about doing Shreksy things at parties and you've neither been to a party before nor done Shreksy things. LOL same boat man I don't even know what being Shreksy means. That's just cause you're so used to it, you Shreksy hunk smiley face. Creating this post was the wrong choice. I need a girlfriend. It generally works the other way around. Generally there is a fling, but no personal connection. So you just stay with it when convenient. It rarely starts from pure friendship. Shrekshul tension doesn't just come out of nowhere. This. Plus alcohol. Yeah, I sorta of feel like the top answer should have been I drink too much and associate with other people who do the same. Source. Presently at the bar. I was random friends with C. We had met through a mutual connection. One night after we had been texting for weeks and being friendly I jokingly told her I could show her how to make carbonara. Um. I brought two bottles of wine. We cooked together. Watched some stand up comedy and then ended up having Shreks. We were on and off since then and it was great circa we both date other people and occasionally hook up. Pasta carbonara. I see myself out now. Currently still have a FWB of 3ish years. Brad was the brother of my best friend K through high school and college, so we knew each other very well. I had just gotten out of a very bad relationship and was still in the I'm going to cry and eat ice cream phase when Kate invited me to a house party. I ended up hooking up with Brad after the party. It was awkward for a little while after, but then we started hanging out again and realized we could be friends who just happened to mess around if we were both single. It's been a fun arrangement. Do you feel like you've stayed single? Because having Brad around is something you don't want to end? Even if you're not wanting a relationship with him? And thus, man discovers relationships. Oh, let me quote the email I got out of the blue one day. If it wasn't apparent, I'm very attracted to you, and I think we could've really hot Shreks. I don't know if you're interested in adding the benefits pack or get to the standard issue friends arrangement, but if so, we should talk about it. We talked about it. Then we started having Shreks. D. Whoa. Email. 
sliding into them yahoos. They don't call it hotmail for nothing. From yahoos to woo -oos. We weren't really close, more like we had a mutual friend and added each other as a result. I'd known for years he'd wanted to frick me. He was very upfront about it, but respected my boundaries, but I didn't do anything about it. Few years later, I'm out of a relationship, but I miss Shreks. He's randomly in town. I send him a message. We meet up the next day, and the dong is fricking amazing. Fricked off and on for a couple of years. Only regret is not getting that dong sooner. Seriously, he fricks so well it's like he went to school for it. Here is your degree in donging. Go out there and make some girl think you went to school for this dong. He studied hard for this moment. Long and hard. I told him he smelt Shrexy, a mix of aftershave, whiskey, and cigarettes, and then he kissed me. Then we had Shreks and have been having it on and off ever since. No romantic interest in him whatsoever. Shrexy smelting. Ha. Huh. My smithing level is 99 in RuneScape and 100 in Skyrim, so maybe we could hang out sometime too. God damn it. Here comes another we're leaking post. It used to be easily cured with penicillin, but not so much anymore. She played DND with me. One day I showed her my apartment and she showed me her boobs. Kinda just went from there. Has boobs and plays DND? Sounds like you need to marry her. I did. We started as FWBs, but after a while feelings happened. I invited him to my room to play with the samurai swords he'd given me. Then pretty much just asked if he wanted to stay the night. He told me later that he just expected to make out. Instead it turned full blown Caligula. We had crazy animal Shreks for almost a year. It ended. Because neither of us knew how to just keep it at Shreks friends. Dates. Presents. Spending the holidays together. ETC. But he also didn't want to be in a relationship. So that was fun. It turned full blown Caligula. I too enjoy attending Liu Shrek's parties with children, torturing political dissidents, and being a terrible emperor of Rome. I had a friend a couple years back. We were both in college and kept in touch despite being a state apart we talked weekly. Well over spring break while we were both home he mentioned he recently lost his virginity and was told he was bad at it. I jokingly said well then we should practice make you better. After talking about it and said we would just be friends with benefits. We practiced all summer and come fall when he went back to school that was the end of it. We don't talk about it anymore. But I will say his girlfriend thinks he's great in bed and I'd like to think that was because of mewing king face. We literally hooked up at a party. Had shreks within an hour of meeting each other. And that's how we became friends. Inviting them to a Shrek's party tends to send the right message smiley face I guess there are two options, verbal and non-verbal communication, both with varying degrees of subtlety. Each person responds differently, you can gradually introduce the idea of you being attracted to them and see how they respond. In general, if they're attracted to you and feel safe, comfortable with you, like they can trust you, then it'll likely be pretty natural to go there. They need to know that one. They can be safe around you timidly. Naked vulnerability is a thing. 2. You will honor and respect them socially. Like if they want to keep it hush hush. Or that you would represent them well etc. 3. That when either of you wants to stop. Change the arrangement. That you'll be cool about it. This is huge. Anyhow. None of these things matter if there's no attraction. So watch for signs of discomfort. Disinterest when you bring up the idea or start flirting. Good luck. This might be a dead thread, but I'm three glasses of wine in, and alone so I'm gonna type this out. D was the roommate of my best friend. I'm a female. Best friend is male. I was always at their house obviously, drinking, partying etc. One day I'm at said house and D is walking around shirtless and cooking. He had a literal 8 pack, defined. Long hair. Looked like a hot ass Tarzan. I thought to myself, no, hands off. Flash forward to a house party myself and best friend attended. I'm sitting on the counter in the kitchen, drunk as frick, and he just kinda plants himself between my legs and starts making out with me. 
hooked up after the party and about 100 times afterward. We work together now, both have relationships, and remain good friends. Sometimes there's unmistakable shrekshul tension, but we both know it's not a thing anymore. I'd been friends with him through high school and sometimes he'll send a booty pic or something to him. But one day we were talking about random past hookups and I was like dude why haven't we ever hooked up? And then we smashed. We still do. I had a female friend from high school that was really close. And I start dating another chick later on. A few years later, my lady started hitting on my friend, so I knew where it was headed. It turned into a threesome one night, which was fun and all, but I left an impression that after me and the lady split up, my friend sent me a text offering condolences and asked if I wanted company. So I go over go her place to try and drown my sorrows. Well we get tipsy, and she started coming on to me, it got crazy. We wake up the next morning, and things go as normal. Never had a detrimental effect on our friendship, and if anything, it helped her trust people again. So win, win. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will stop our friendship.